Ooh, wow, wait a second. That means this one index is over 100 gigabytes. This right here was me creating a gigantic index on a table with over a billion rows. Turns out that index didn't actually work very well, but I eventually did figure out a special kind of index that I could use to make my full text search work really fast in the app that I was working on. So if you wanna see me create that index, plus the index that worked well, plus another index, stick around and follow my journey for how to get my app to scale up to a table with over a billion rows in it. So the situation is this. I've got an app that I've already pretty much finished, written in React and Node and Express, and it's basically done, and I've even tested it with a small data set that has 10,000 rows in the message table, and it works pretty well. However, before I send this app out into the wild, I wanna make sure that it's actually going to function with a much larger data set. What if my message table has over a billion rows in it? Is it actually gonna be able to have fast load times and a good user experience? The idea behind this chat app, which I have very creatively named Chatastic, is that anyone can hop on without having to authenticate and chat about any subject. If you're getting some bad idea vibes from that concept, yeah, you're probably right. Anyways, so this is what the user interface looks like. You can go to the homepage, and one way that you can navigate is by typing in the name of a chat room that you want to go to. So I can say MySQL brings you to the chat page, and then you can put in an alias, and you can say a message. So you can do this, and anyone could log in and chat on this platform. Or if you go back to the homepage, you could search based on subject. So if I wanted to say computer and search for any of the chat rooms that might have mentioned that term, you can hit search and it will bring up the top five results and you can select one of those and then go to that chat room. This works pretty well and is fairly snappy, but this is with a test database that has only around 10,000 rows in the message table. Again, I wanna make sure this is gonna scale up to huge numbers. So what I need to do next is connect this to a database with a billion rows, actually more than a billion in the messages table and see how things perform there. Now I've got the schema pulled up here and you may notice it's just one table, a message table. It has an ID and you may notice that it looks a little bit odd how I created and named this ID. That'll become more clear later. But then each row has an alias of the person who wrote the message, the chat room, the text of the message itself and a created at date time. Now, if I say use chat small, this is the one that I was using and I do a select count of all the rows of that message table. Uh, it's just 10,001, so that's a fairly small table. However, if I use chat, which this is my larger database that I wanna use to stress test this before going in production, and do a select count from message, this is going to take a while. Okay, boom, it's done. It took uh, over seven minutes to do, and as you can see, there's well over a billion rows in this table, so this should make a very good stress test pre-launch. In order to try this out, I'm gonna open up the environment, change that to the chat DB, which is the bigger one, and then say node server. Now switching over to the app, refresh. If I go try to look at the MySQL chat room, it would take absolutely a super, super long time to get this loaded due to the size of that table. So I need to add some indexes to make sure that this, as well as the feature to search by keyword can go a lot faster. Now this over here is a section of the server code that does stuff for getting messages for a chat room. So if you see this query right here has a filter on the room in the where clause and then this one does as well. So if I can add an index on the room, that should help really improve the performance of these lookups to get all the messages or even some of the messages for a chat room. What I can do to do that is come over here into the MySQL terminal and say create index and I'll call this the room index and it'll be on the message room. So that query has now finished and it says it took 43 minutes to create this index on a table with 1.2 billion rows and that is on a text-based column. So that's quite a while, but that's also a lot of rows. And if you take a look down here at the size of the InnoDB file, it's now 232 gigs. Before it was about 205, so that means this is about a 27 gigabyte index. But now, coming back to the application, you can look and see that if I search for the messages for MySQL, even with this really large database, it actually loads super fast. 
And this is because even though we have over 200 gigabytes of data, with a well-designed index, it can find just the messages that go for the MySQL chat room very efficiently. So next up, I wanna create an index on the text column so that I can do text searches on the messages in the database. To do this, I'm gonna create index and I'm gonna call it text index on the message table and the text column. This one is also gonna take quite a while to execute. So again, come back once it's finished. Great, the query finished, and that one took longer than the last one, one hour and 27 minutes, and we should check out how big this index is. Ooh, wow, wait a second. That means this one index is over 100 gigabytes. That's crazy. But the real question is, does this gigantic index actually help improve the performance of my application? Over here in the server code, you can see that this is the query that's being utilized to get that done and it's using a like, and then giving the search term as input with percent signs on either side. So it's essentially looking for that term as any substring in the text of any one of the rows. And if I go to my application to try this out, and let's say that I look for a computer and hit search, it would still take a really, really long time to do this. And a part of the problem is that this index is indexing based on the full values of the text. And if I'm doing a substring search, that doesn't really help, that, that big index doesn't really help make this faster at all. It still has to go through and do a substring search for every single row in the database. But what can I do to make this faster? What I'm gonna try is instead of doing a regular B-tree based index, I'm gonna use a full text index. Now, this is a special kind of index in MySQL, and it works a little bit different than a standard index. Instead of building a B plus tree, what it's going to do is tokenize all of these strings in whatever column you select. In this case, I'm going to be doing it on the text column. So it's essentially going to make a big array or list of all of these tokens. And for each one of them, it provides a reference for what rows that token was observed in. And it also tracks information about the positions that these tokens were seen so that if you have sequences that you want to search for, it can also support doing searches for those kinds of things. Earlier, I had mentioned how the ID that I created on the table looked a little bit odd. And what I had was this FTS doc ID name for that identifier. And the reason why that was chosen is because that is an ID that when you're creating a full text index, it needs that ID to exist and to have a key on that ID. So the next step is to start the process of creation. And in order to do this one, it's actually very similar to what I had before, except you just need to say full text on here. And oh, I need to change the name of this, of course. So I'm going to say full text text index. The process has finally finished. And actually off camera, I went ahead and deleted that really, really big index and did a table optimize. So the table, the database went back down to 223 gigs before creating the full text index took over seven hours. And now if you check out the size of the database, the, the main table is 241 gigs, and there's a bunch of other files that got created, but the biggest one is this 44 gigabyte one representing the majority of this full text index. Now it's time to go update my server to make sure this can work with it. And what I need to do is replace this like syntax with the match against syntax, which that's what you have to use if you want to utilize the full text index for the search. So I'm gonna say where match, and you specify the column. So I'm gonna say the text column, and then against the term, which I'm just gonna put question mark in there. And then I can get rid of these percent signs over there. And I still am gonna have the limit five on it to just limit it to a smaller set of results. So I can start up the server and then switch over to the application. Try typing in uh, computer. And it still is going to take a little bit because there's a lot of data there for it to parse through. But it should pretty soon here load up those results. And this is, of course, going to be significantly faster than it would have been using just a regular table scan because I would have taken way longer this. Yeah, we had to wait a couple of seconds, but now it's come up with a few results and I can click on one of them and it will take a small bit to load the messages here. And then now we're in the chat room, right? So that performance, there is a little bit of waiting around, but that's pretty good given the size of the data that's in that table that we're fetching from.
In the future, I'm gonna actually make a follow-up video to this showing how we can get this application live using a planet scale database. And I'm also gonna show you a cool new feature on the planet scale platform called schema recommendations. But for now, that will wrap up this video. And I really hope that now you have a little better understanding of indexes and how those can help improve performance, especially when you have really big tables, what the full text index can get you in terms of performance. And hopefully you just now know a little bit more about MySQL. So take care, everybody. Have a good one.